Hello, and welcome to a quick look at how to load and use the instruments in Soundation Studio. First, I will take away the audio channels by highlighting them and hitting delete on my keyboard, so it will be easier to focus on the instrument channels. To load an instrument, click on the Instrument Channels drop-down menu where it says Simple by Default. I'm going to choose the drum machine and double click on the track next to the instrument channel to create a note clip. Double click to open and edit the note clip region. Click the pencil tool to draw in notes. The sounds are mapped on the third octave starting with the bass drum in key C3. You can also create notes by double clicking with the cursor tool. Clicking on the play button will automatically loop the project where the note clip is located. Since the project is looped, you can now use the project play button or space button to stop and start. Let's go through the sounds in the drum machine. Eight sounds ascending chromatically. On C sharp 3, there's a snare drum. On D3, there's a clap. On D sharp 3, there's a closed hi-hat. On E3, there's an open hi-hat. On F3, there's a low tom. F sharp 3, there's a high tom. On G3, there's a rim shot. Let's create a quick drum loop. Each drum sound can be altered with gain, pitch, hold, and decay knobs. To set a knob to its default value, simply double click it. This is true for all knobs and sliders in Soundation Studio. Now let's listen as I change the bass drum's pitch in real time. I think the open hi-hat's hold is too long, so I'll shorten it to my liking as I play the loop. Now that we have a simple drum loop going, let's make a bass line. Click the plus note button to add a new instrument channel. Click the drop down menu, choose mono. Double click on the track to add a new note clip and draw in a few notes. gray area indicates the length of the note clip, and because the last note is too long, it glides to the first note when looped. Let's shorten it by left-clicking and dragging it to its desired length. Let's change the sound of the bass line. Click the drop-down menu and choose Edit Instrument to bring it up. I'm going to play around with the knobs here as I listen. That's working. 
So let's play with the notes a bit more. You can also quantize notes to introduce different swing grooves. I'm going to highlight three notes by clicking and dragging and then choose 16 swing A, which is a subtle 16 note swing. Now I'm going to make the last two notes glide by adjusting the glide knob and overlapping the notes. Okay, but I'm just going to use the second bar. Let's extend the loop two bars and loop the drum loop by clicking and dragging the top right hand corner of the note clip. Now alt click the bass note clip to copy and drag it to the second bar. Double click on the second bass note clip to open, edit and adjust the notes. I'm going to open up the mono synth and adjust glide again. Let's add a fakey effect to the mono instrument channel and adjust it so the bass fits with the bass drum. Now let's add another synth by clicking the plus note button and choosing Super Saw in the new instrument channel's drop down menu. Double click and add a note clip and double click again to open, edit and add a chord. That's a bit low, so I'm going to highlight these notes and drag them up two octaves. Click on the Velocity tool and highlight the notes you want to change. Add a delay to the effects chain. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you use Foundation Studio Virtual Instruments.